In this video, we're going to take a look at a few different types of substitution reactions in organic chemistry. So there are actually three sort of mechanisms of substitution reactions that we are going to look at in this course. And so we'll look at the reactions that go with them, and then we'll look at the mechanisms that happen in a different video. So let's start with the free radical substitution reaction. Now this is the, a reaction of alkanes. So I'm showing ethane here, but this can be any alkane reacting with a halogen. So it can be either chlorine, it can also be bromine. And if you have a catalyst such as UV or heat, and catalysts are always written above the arrow, and they're really, really important to include because if you didn't have UV or heat here, this reaction would not happen. So really important to keep in mind. Now in this reaction, what happens is one of these hydrogens is gonna get replaced with one of the halogens, either chlorine or bromine, depending on what we're reacting it with. So the two products that'll form is going to be our ethane with one of the hydrogens substituted with a chlorine, or it could be bromine if we were reacting with bromine. And then our other product that we're going to form is going to be the leftover hydrogen coming off of the alkane along with the other chlorine that is left over or the other bromine that's left over. So we are substituting one of the hydrogens with one of the halogens. Now this is a really non-specific reaction and if you let it go, more and more of these hydrogens would get replaced, but we're kind of just looking at the replacement of one of them. And it, it's not really specific as to which carbon it's going to go on. Okay, so uh, generally we'll just look at methane and ethane reacting with chlorine and bromine. We'll keep it really, really simple. All right, our next substitution reaction is our one based on a nucleophilic uh, mechanism. And so we'll get into the mechanism in a separate video. But generally this reaction happens with a halogenoalkane. So halogenoalkane. Uh, so I've got R for the alkyl group and then X is any of the halogens. So chlorine, bromine, fluorine, so on. Um, and if we react it with sodium hydroxide, and I believe this requires a little bit of heat, then what we're going to create is the alcohol. So the OH group is replacing the halogen group here. And we're going to be left with the halogen coming off of there, as well as the sodium part of the sodium hydroxide. So creating a, basically a salt. Now, sometimes this reaction is just shown with the hydroxide and we leave the sodium out because it's kind of a spectator ion. It's not really doing anything. And if that's the case, the products would be ROH and then just X minus. So for example, if we had a bromoethane and we react it with sodium hydroxide with a bit of heat, that's going to create our ethanol and then our other product would be sodium bromide. Uh, this reaction also works if we react with ammonia or if we react with casein. So just kind of giving you the general equations here, because they're not too, too important. They both require heat, a bit of heat as well. And the first one's gonna create an amine, and then the other product will be uh, HX. And then the other one down here, this is gonna create the nitrile and its product will be Kx. So kind of handy reactions to know about because these particular substitution reactions can take 
a halogen or alkane and convert it to different functional groups. And that's going to be really important for something called organic synthesis, which we're going to again look at, at in a separate video. All right, the last uh, type of substitution reaction we're going to look at here is the substitution of benzene by an electrophilic mechanism. So again, we'll come back to the mechanisms in a separate video, but essentially what these reactions are here is um, benzene, the ring, will react with nitric acid in the presence of some concentrated sulfuric acid. So let's put in our state symbols here and a little bit of heat. We don't need to know it's specifically 50 degrees Celsius, but just that we have a bit of heat. And so what's happening here is one of the hydrogens on this benzene ring, because there's a hydrogen on each carbon. So one of them is going to get substituted with an NO2 group from the HNO3. So what's left over after that is there's an H and an O from the nitric acid and then there's an H coming off of the benzene ring so it results in water. So this is called, uh, this has a special name actually, it's called the nitration of benzene because it's creating a nitro, this is called a nitro group, a nitro benzene. So just worthwhile knowing some of those particular specific names. The second type of substitution of benzene, we can react it with halogens. So if we're reacting with chlorine, the catalyst is aluminum chloride. And again, one of the hydrogens on the ring is getting substituted with a chlorine and the other product produced here is gonna be HCl. So the H coming from the benzene ring and the Cl coming from the leftover chlorine. If we were to react benzene with bromine, we can do that as well. The catalyst for that reaction is an iron three bromide and creates a very similar product. So instead of a chlorine, we got a bromine and we've got HBr. So those are the couple of different electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene. And we've also seen nucleophilic substitution as well as free radical substitution reactions of different kinds of hydrocarbons. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.